cocktail lovers, cheeky day drinkers, welcome back to another rendition of Cocktail Three Way. Uh, the show, show, episode, thing, video, day drinking show that I've invented so that I have an excuse to get drunk in the middle of the day. Uh, cocktail lovers, aficionados, fellow day drinkers, welcome back. We're gonna do gin and tonics today because A, they're classic, B, it's the first drink I learned how to make for my mom. Uh, C, it is still the only drink my mom actually gives a shit about. And D, I'm holding on to summer for as long as I possibly can. So let's get started. As always, we are gonna do this drink three different ways. Number one, beginner, just a gin and tonic. Number two, intermediate, there's a few more steps that go into it, but we'll explain as we go. And three, advanced, you really wanna impress somebody. So let's get started. Quick note about the gin that you're using. I am a total gin snob. Um, every gin has a different taste. Um, Ontario is stupid and has dumb liquor laws and it is currently Monday and that means all of the liquor stores are closed. So I am delving into my gin reserves. Don't at me. I know that this isn't the greatest gin in the world, but it's what I got today. So we'll work around it, but definitely a way that you can play with this drink is by changing your gin and tonic. All right, let's go. I got sick of wrestling with ice cube trays and I needed crushed ice, so I caved and I bought plastic coated ice, I'm sorry. Flight attendant trick. If you ever hear thumping in the back of the plane, that's what's happening. We're gonna do our beginner. Um, it's pretty simple, ice, gin, tonic, lime. So the way that my mom uh, tracks how many gin and tonics she's had is she can't slime wedges because she never takes out the old wedge, she just adds a new one. So if you see her rocking around with a cup full of six lime wedges, you know it's a good night. Beginner! Step one, gin. Step two, tonic. Step three, lime. Step three, drink. All right, there is the super simple, super easy gin and tonic. You're welcome. Shall we move on? As always, the advanced drink has a little bit of prep work involved. So I am going to get started with that and then we'll come back to the intermediate. Um, I need some lime peel without any pith. Well, we have lime peel but we have pith. So now I have to shave my lime peel. The reason that you don't want pith is that is what makes it bitter. I will learn how to make a lime peel without, I could have zested it, fuck. Hindsight, 2020. All right, that looks better. So for the advanced drink, I'm making a lime and thyme syrup. Um, save some of the time for the garnish. Remember the really uncooked syrup from the other video? I'm just reusing it. As ever, what would a segment of Cocktail 3-Way be without A, having to juice something, and B, me forgetting what I'm doing? So, now I'm gonna juice some limes um, and just keep the lime juice. I need it for both the intermediate and advanced drinks. Sure, this wasn't what you were expecting. I need this to make crushed ice. Close your ears, this is loud. My wooden one is not sufficient. Ta-da! All right, I needed lime wheels for both the advanced and the intermediate drink. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just making garnishes because it's really fun. It is what I think every bartender will tell you that they spend all of their time doing. Yay! Dun, 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 dun. I also need cucumber wheels. Did you see all of these cute little cucumbers? Aren't they adorable? Yeah, they won't work. You need the big guy. Bonjour, monsieur. There's just something that I find so refreshing about cucumber and lime 
with gin. I think it's because I've convinced myself that it's like I'm eating a salad. I haven't eaten yet today. This is gonna go well. Stick around for post taste test. That moment where you think you may have burned your syrup means it's probably almost ready. I like syrup. Fuck it. While we're on the garnish train, um, I'm gonna show you, I need ribbon. Six inch ribbon curls. That's impossible. Six inches. I need cucumber ribbons for the advanced drink. So I'm just gonna get all the garnishes out of the way and then we can get right into assembly. In case you're sitting at home on the edge of your seat being like, how do you make a ribbon out of a cucumber? I will show you. So you take one of the little cucumbers. You can use a big cucumber. It's just gonna make a wider ribbon. And you're gonna use like a potato or carrot peeler, whatever you like to use these for normally. And you're just going to shave ribbons out of it. And then you can make these, which will look very nice in the drink later. Would you like a cucumber? As always, I've forgotten to allow enough time for my syrup to cool. It looks like either urine or pickle juice. Would you like a sample? Okay, it's gonna be a cucumber lime gin and tonic. Um, so we have the lime wheels, so pretty. And we have the cucumber wheels also so pretty and they just look so pretty when you put them in the glass and then you take the crushed ice and you're gonna layer them and I know that this seems like a little bit of extra work like more like an advanced drink but I promise you that it's not all right I actually hate tonic I think it's way too sweet um, there are some good brands that do a less sweet tonic um, and that's great and they're okay. I prefer to use tonic syrup because then you can put in as much syrup as you would like for the sweetness that you'd like and you can just top it up with club soda. I'm doing doubles today because why not? So I'm gonna do a half an ounce of my tonic syrup. This is why I needed to mix it the first, like in here. If I was just using regular tonic, you could pour it right in top, but. This is literally gin and tonic. The British invented tonic as a nice way for their troops overseas, busy conquering foreign lands and all that, uh, to ingest quinine so they wouldn't get malaria. You know, God forbid the fucking British died while they were taking over lands. I think that might have been my British grandfather rolling in his grave right there. Okay. There we go, adventure and all. Guys, I haven't even been drinking yet and I already forgot an ingredient. I also needed to put in half an ounce of lime juice, so we'll just do that right now. It's got a nice lime juice float. Very festive. Your intermediate gin and tonic. You are welcome. All right, we're gonna do the advanced drink now. Um, my crushed ice is melting all over the place. Uh, it's combined with the club soda so that I am standing right now in a literal swimming pool. Um, it's great. Uh, I'm getting a little pedicure treatment. Um, so I think I'm gonna start with the crushed ice just so I can put it back in the freezer. Your little cucumber ribbon and you're going to attempt to make them look like seaweed. I know I'm not being very talkative or interesting right now um, but this is hard. Okay to torch a lime you need a fireproof surface to work on. Tin foil, aluminum foil. And you're gonna take your lime wheel, sprinkle some sugar. The kind of sugar that you use will change the taste. Um, I don't have any other sugar except regular white sugar. Apparently the ignition is broken. So there we go. 
We're basically caramel bruleeing our limes here, folks. It just gives it a really nice, sweet caramel taste to the juice. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing for this one. I got my ice all layered in there with my beautiful little ribbons. I'm going to add in the drink into here, mix it all up, pour it in, explode soda on myself, pour it in, and then we'll get into taste testing. Okay, remember, we wanna spank our herbs. Releases the oils, gets little bits of them everywhere. Which we all know is everybody's favorite. So quarter ounce of the syrup, the tonic syrup, a half ounce of lime juice, gin. Oh, would you look at that? Perfectly polished it off. Pour in the good stuff. We cautiously open the soda. And let's put a garnish on. So my pretty little ribbon. Better. This guy. Set the time right there. Great. It's really delicate, so I'm not gonna hold it up and show you. Um, but in just a second, you'll see it on the screen. There is your advanced drink, you're welcome. All right, so here you have it. The three stages of the summery fresh gin and tonic, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. This will not be the last time I do a gin and tonic. Uh, during quarantine, I tried a whole bunch of different gin and tonic variations. It's one of those drinks that can be done so many different ways. Um, so this will not be the last time you see this drink. Uh, it will be the last time you see it this way. So, without further ado, shall we get started with tasting? Uh, for this one, uh, I thought it might be fun for Wes to do a blind taste. Wes! Aloha. Hello. So um, I went cocktail supply shopping and <laughs> I bought stir sticks because, uh, you know. Seahorse. And a whale. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what we're going to do, and obviously yeah. cocktail testing eye shade. Not that um, I had the cucumber again, are we? <laughs> I mean, that was fun. That's exciting. Right? Now, just for shits and giggles, I'm going to quickly taste one, two, three. That tastes. Like, it honestly, it reminds me of my mom. Um, and I, I say that. I just want you to give me too many, too many tips, you know, because I want to guess. Totally. It, we'll leave it at that. We'll talk about it in a minute. But it makes me nostalgic in the best way. It's fucking good. Okay. Um, um, can I touch the straw? Is there a straw? Give me the straw. There you go. I'll just taste them all, then I'll tell you what I think is fun. Okay. I like the last one the best, so I think that's the intermediate. I think I went advanced, beginner, intermediate. Ooh, that was really close. What did I do? What was it? It was intermediate, beginner, advanced. So advanced was the last one? Yeah. Yeah, I could spot this one. These two are <laughs> straight guessing. <laughs> This one tasted so, that was the last one I had? Yeah. That's so good. Oh, it's so good. I don't know why, I thought I thought for some reason the advance was gonna be too complicated, so I thought I'd like it uh, second the most. It is sweeter than this one. This can just, this, oh, it's, <laughs> it's so classic, it I, tastes, I do love it. It reminds me of my mom, like, this one is so fresh. The lime juice in here, or whatever it is. Yeah. Whatever, what, is that what makes it it's, really nice? It's the lime juice. Oh, so smooth. Yeah. I told the girl at the cocktail shop that I was gonna review the uh, cocktail syrup mm. for her because she'd never tasted it. This is so it's good. It's so good. Um, oh my in God. all honesty, so this is a Montreal based tonic syrup, uh, Procero. Um, I know, right? It is good. Uh, it's too sweet for me. Really? Yeah, so it tastes. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I like a really, really dry like extra bitter tonic, if I'm gonna have a tonic. It tastes spot on to me, but I don't know. I've never, for me, I've never had a really dry one. Mm. I think the herbs and the larger surface area with the cucumber um, really sell it for me here. It has that, like the hint of herb and um, a more earthy note with the cucumber. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's the, it's tr like it is hands down like if you head and will take the right. time to do this with your cucumber, it makes a huge difference because it's got a bigger surface area, so more of that mineral taste from the cucumber comes into the drink. It makes sense. I always thought it was just looked fancy, but I can totally taste it. Hell yeah! All right, I'm taking this one. Yep. Hit. Enjoy, let me know what you thought. Um, if you have any suggestions for other drinks, let me know. Sorry, I just have to go kill my husband. All right, um, let me know what you wanna see. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you again next week. Happy drinking.